Inside all centrifugal pumps, an impeller creates centrifugal force to move liquid through the pump. Impellers can be designed in different ways, depending on factors such as the type of liquid being pumped and the amount of pressure increase that's needed. The impellers used in centrifugal pumps can be divided into three categories, closed, open, and semi-open. This impeller is a closed impeller. Its veins are enclosed by shrouds on both sides. The shrouds direct the flow of liquid between the veins. Closed impellers are often used with low viscosity or thin liquids. Liquids that are thick or contain suspended solids could clog a closed impeller. With those types of liquids, an open impeller could be used. This is an open impeller. As you can see, this impeller has no shrouds to direct the flow of liquid. While this design helps prevent clogging, it's less efficient at moving liquids than a closed impeller, since the flow of liquid is not directed between the veins. Open impellers are used to pump thick liquids, or liquids with solids, such as slurries, and closed impellers are used to pump thin liquids. Semi-open impellers can be used for pumping thin liquids, since there is a shroud to direct the liquid between the veins. They can also be used for heavier liquids and slurries, since they minimize clogging. Impellers can also be classified in other ways. For example, Closed impellers can be further classified as single suction impellers or double suction impellers. This impeller is a single suction impeller. It has only one suction eye, so there's only one place that the liquid can enter the impeller. Single suction impellers are fine in applications where the pressure change across the pump is relatively low. In applications where the pressure change is higher, large amounts of axial thrust are created and must be offset. To minimize the effects of the axial thrust, some centrifugal pumps use a double suction impeller. A double suction impeller has two suction eyes, so liquid can enter the impeller from opposite directions. Because of this, the pressure on both sides of the impeller is the same and axial thrust is minimized.